All right. So in less than 24 hours, the Golden Eagles of Nigeria will look to bounce back in their third and final group match of the Under-17 African Cup of Nations. The team missed the opportunity to punch a ticket to the second round in their last match versus Morocco, but now they will look to do just that against South Africa. Before we get more into details, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, Nigeria will face South Africa tomorrow, Saturday, the 6th of May, and the match will kick off 8 p.m. Nigerian time. It will be hosted at the Stad Mohammed Amlaoui. Not too sure if I'm saying that right, but that is exactly where the game is going to be hosted the same stadium that hosted the match against morocco so hopefully we get a little bit better luck this time so like i said it will be hosted at the Stad mohammed hamlaoui and that's in constantine algeria now south africa come into this game with one win and a loss they lost their first match of the competition that was against morocco by two goals to nil then they won their second match against zambia three goals to two real entertaining match right there the golden eagles match was plagued with poor finishing well this match just enjoyed great finishing beautiful goal scored by both teams real entertaining stuff and i feel like south africa has so much quality going forward from the midfield to the forwards they have so so much quality players who can finish at every position it seems like now as far as the golden eagles of course they're coming off that tough loss against morocco and that loss keeps them at three points they do still remain second in the group and that's ahead of south africa due to goal difference now going into this match there is a chance that the golden eagles can finish in any position from one to four if they lose and Zambia win, they end up at fourth. If they lose and Zambia loses or draws, they end up at third. If they win or end up playing out a draw, they will remain at second position. And that's of course if Morocco wins or draws their match. Now in the case that the Golden Eagles win by three goals or more and Morocco loses by let's say 1-0, then the Golden Eagles can climb up to first position. So what that basically says is that there's a whole lot to play for in this match the stakes are high for both sides going into the contest and i really do believe this is going to be a great match to watch not just for the fans on both sides i'm talking about the neutrals this is going to be some good football both teams are going to be getting after it and it's just gonna be a sight to see. Now, when it comes to the performance of the Golden Eagles in their last match, I just feel like they gotta forget about that situation. Their head coach, Undukao Bade, I feel like that's the number one job he had after that match, the mental work. They just gotta get that out of their heads because they put up a good performance. Everybody gave it their all, and it just didn't work out. That's life, and that's football. It happens like that sometimes. You do everything you can. Look at how many shots they took, and it just didn't work out. I mean, really and truly, I feel like people are not giving Morocco their credit. They did a great job. You're talking about a team that young turning into Atletico Madrid. I'm talking about prime Atletico Madrid. The defense was on point. Everybody behind the ball real organized they did a great job you must commend that team so yes the golden eagles had all those opportunities but you really have to credit morocco for the way they defended so yeah let me know how you guys feel about the golden eagles going into this match against south africa tomorrow the 6th of may and that's on saturday and that's 8 p.m nigerian time for the start let me know your opinions on the match and even your predictions. Put them in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.